My name is Dr. Carl de Gramji. I'm a professor of psychiatry and human behavior at Jefferson Medical College. The first question is, what is the efficacy and safety of sedating antidepressants used off-label for the treatment of insomnia? So, we don't unfortunately have uh, many methodologically well-done studies in this area, that is, in the area of sedating antidepressants. However, uh, in psychiatry, we tend to use off-label trazodone quite extensively at about 25 or 50 milligrams, and sometimes doxepin at low doses for the treatment of insomnia, especially when it's comorbid with depression. Uh, this practice may be helpful for some patients, but the data have shown that uh, a trazodone at low dose can, can, can help to some extent diminish awakenings, but that it's also, made, it's also a long-acting uh, or a long half-life agent, which may be associated with some side effects, such as sedation during the day uh, 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 and, and impairment in terms of cognitive function. So although this might be a good practice, I think we have to be a little bit concerned about daytime side effects. I also should mention that doxepin, <clears throat> which is a sedating antidepressant at, at to 50 or 75 milligram doses, is, has now been reformulated in a very low dosage modality, that is three and six milligrams, uh, uh, as an antihistaminic agent specifically uh, for the treatment of insomnia. So although it's not an antidepressant at those doses, it is an effective agent for the treatment of maintenance, uh, a maintenance type of insomnia.